Hello, Justine Dandria here with Bible Journaling Ministries Creative Team, and today we're going to be using the printables from Matthew 7, 1 through 2. If you're part of Momentum, it is in your um, packet. If you're not, then you can go ahead and uh, go to BibleJournalingMinistries.com and check it out in the store to purchase it. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. So for today's, for today's supplies, you're going to need a, um, some watercolor paints, watercolor brush or whatever color brush you like to work with for watercolors. We're going to use acrylics, with, so you'll need some acrylic paint brushes, whichever size you want to work with. Some red paint. Um, acrylic paint. Uh, I'm using this apple red. I thought about using crimson, but decided not to. So I'm using like an apple red and then a, like a royal blue, some black and white, and then some burnt sienna or brown. Um, it's, it doesn't matter. Honestly, it's just like a darker color. Glue scissors, the printables, of course, and then I added some washi tape to my page, your page protector. You guys all know I forget my page protector, but this time it's in the supply list. Um, and then a um, micron, archive, uh, some type of an arch archival ink, um, the smaller or the tip, the better. Um, and I think that's it for the supply list. So here we go. Time to get started. So I didn't mention about getting a water so source. So you probably should get something to wash your water brush out with, but I'm starting with some watercolors and I'm going to start with a lighter brown and then I'm going to go ahead and add some darker browns to this. You can color this if you want. I don't know why but I am not a big fan of using color pencils. Maybe if I use the watercolor pencils I might be more of a fan. Maybe I'll try that next time but I generally do go back to watercolors and acrylics. Those seem to be my favorites. I'm more comfortable using them. Um, I, you do want to print out your printables on either cardstock or uh, if you're using watercolors, um, preferably using watercolor paper. Um, but I, on this particular project here, I am using um, just regular cardstock. I would not use just plain paper because the water will make it too wet and then it'll um, mess up the paper. So you don't want to do that. So either cardstock or put it um, watercolor paper through your printer. Um, you might have to adjust the settings a little bit, but if you can do that. All right, so um, yeah, we're doing Matthew 7, 1 through 2. And I am just going through and adding a little bit of dark to kind of highlight different areas of the Bible. And um, after it dries a little bit, you might decide to, that it might be too light, so you might want to go in with a darker color or kind of just go over it again. The thing I like about watercolors is it's very forgiving that you can go ahead and um, add a little bit of water uh, and lighten it up. The thing is though with regular cardstock paper, the um, watercolors don't move as um, nicely as they would on regular watercolor paper. So let's see, 
I'm using, I'm just going back through with the browns again. I'm going to use it for the gavel. I'm pretty sure that's called a gavel. And like I said, I like to go with the lighter color first and then go back through. And a lot of times, I don't know why my camera's skipping. Um, a lot of times, uh, I'll leave some white space. So if it doesn't cover the whole area of what I'm painting, I'm okay with that because it helps to give it some shading. You can do whatever colors you want on the um, printables. I'm just going to do the Bible, the gavel, the, the um, what is that called? I call it a timer, but there is a name for it. I forgot what the name is. Hourglass. There we go. It's funny when you don't use certain words, how they escape you, but hourglass and I'm going to do the, the feather. Those are the things I decided to use. So I did the whole thing, the lighter brown, and then I'm going in and using a little bit more darker brown. Now, of course your Bible could be any color you want it. Um, yeah, just have some fun with it. So Matthew 7, 1 through 12, don't judge so that you won't be judged. For whatever judgment you judge, you will be judged. And with whatever measure you measure, it will be measured to you. So it's basically telling he's God's basically telling us stay in our own little lane. <laughs> don't get out of your own lane and judge other people have you ever noticed like if you start to judge someone how that judgment sometimes will come back on you <laughs> it's like wait a minute you're you're being held accountable more or less um our judge is god right he's he's the one that's going to judge us that's the only one we need to worry about we don't need to worry about anybody else just what we're doing and, and walking in the spirit and making sure that we're being obedient. That's the key. He's going to put that gavel down. If you're not being obedient, he's going to make sure we feel it, right? He always does that to me. I think judging too kind of makes me feel, I don't know, blah. I don't, I don't like that feeling. I'd rather not. And then again, I feel like I needed to go over the brown a little bit darker. So that's a good thing when you're starting with the lighter colors, then you can go into more of the, the darker colors and do highlighting. I think, you know, if you're new to this, it does take a little time to adjust and to kind of see, um, you know, the way you want the Bible to look and, and how the paint works. I think I spend the most time on the, the Bible part of it. Sticking with the brown, I'm just going to go ahead and do the hourglass. And I am going to paint the Bible pages um, white because I think it just matters, especially when you see it in person. I think that, um, you know, leave, you can leave it blank if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and just touch it with a little bit of, of white. And then the um, little ink pen here. Just keeping it in the same darker color. And I think I'm going to do the feather in a blue um, to match the flag 
of the background of the, the page itself. So I am using, I will be using for the, um, the Bible itself, I'll be using my uh, interleave Bible because it has the bigger pages. But again, you can size, uh, use whichever size Bible you want. Or if you don't have a Bible and you just want to go ahead and use a mixed media book or a notebook to get started, um, then I encourage that too, because this is all about spending time with, in the Word, spending time meditating on um, the scripture that's, that we're, you know, reviewing and, um, you know, you can even pray as you're doing it and just ask God or the Holy Spirit for wisdom and, um, and ask maybe if this is an area that you need to be uh, aware of in your life. If this is something that, um, you need to be more obedient in, then you can, um, you know, ask him to show you that. It's amazing what the Holy Spirit shows you in your, um, your journaling time and your creative time with him. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that white and I'm going to just throw a little bit in here. And then um, on the pages. Like I said, like my go-tos are definitely um, watercolor. And there's different types, you know, uh, of pigments in watercolor. So there's, there's, these are kind of like the general watercolors that you would get at uh, Michael's or whatever. Um, but there are more potent pigment colored um, watercolors that you can get. Um, which makes it a lot of fun because you get to play with all the colors. All right, how about we switch on over to... Oh, one thing I do want to say, if you're adding color to uh, your watercolor, you want to let the first layer um, dry, especially if it's on co uh, copy paper, um, because it'll make the paper too wet and then it kind of beads up a little bit so if you're not using watercolor paper um, let your copy paper dry a little bit another one of my favorite things to use are the Posca pens and you'll see me using them quite often those are paint uh, markers that um, that you can get I'm adding some gold to the hammer or the hammer <laughs> What is it called? Gauntlet? Is it a gauntlet? No. No, I forgot what it's called. Yeah, gauntlet, I think. Some gold to my ribbon. And um, some gold to the bind spine of the book. If I could, I would add glitter, but I don't think <laughs> glitter would be good for this page. And then just adding some gold um, accents. You can use black or, uh, or you can use a, maybe a white paint marker to go ahead and give your project or uh, some white accents. You can also see that I allowed the page to come through um, so it wasn't all just one color completely up to you, you decide um, the shading that you would like to use. Now we're going to go ahead onto the uh, page. Like I said, I'm using the interleaved um, Bible and I am going to draw a flag. So you don't have to be precise. We're using a pencil so that this way you can draw it and erase it if you don't like it. I'm purposely making sure that my lines are not straight. This is not a perfect flag. It's just kind of like going through and marking a lot, one line red, one line white, as you can see here, just a really quick 
drawing. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lines. I wasn't being precise. So I am keeping a little squ uh, square type box and I'm not making it precise. I am, it's all kind of interpretive. And then I am putting a star in there because I am going to write in the star. So you want to be mindful of that. If you don't want to write in the star, your star does not have to be big. Um, but this was a, a something that I saw, I believe it was on Pinterest. And I said, you know, it would be cool to have with the uh, judgment page. Do not judge. And again here, I'm just loosely drawing across. We're going to be using acrylics. So acrylics are very forgiving as far as um, you know, being able to use them to make um, hide the lines or make new lines or whatever. So I was going to use the crimson. I'm going to decide to use more of a apple red at the last second. I'm like, wait, no. Because I think our flag is more of a crimson color, isn't it? So you paint one line red, you skip a line, and then you paint another line, um, you know, you skip a line and then red. Red. I actually am leaving the color of the page. I am not painting the white lines white. I, if you want to do that, you can go ahead, but I'm just doing the red lines because I'm just going to go over it in um, highlight it or kind of like distress it so um, I don't I want you to make sure that you are not stressing about this I want you to p just paint it doesn't have to be straight lines just make them wiggly and kind of rustic looking. That's what we're going for, a rustic look. If you're not using the Interleave Bible, again, here you can, you know, uh, go ahead and make your flag smaller. Or um, you can do it on, in a notebook or a mixed media book. So the blue that I'm using is a, um, this one is called Ink Spot actually, but just any type of a navy blue, obviously that kind of reflects the flag. I mean, you can use, yeah, any blue, like a navy blue, royal blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and Paint the big squarish, <laughs> the star part of the flag. Don't worry if you get paint on your red, it's fine. Because actually, what I'm going to do is go, I, I believe I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger because I realized that when I was finishing up that it needed to be a little bit bigger in the blue. Yep, there you go. So I'm just adding an extra line, just creating. I do not paint the star. Um, again, I'm just going to do use some brown or burnt sienna to, to give some highlights. You do want to make sure when you're doing highlights that your page is dry. So if you need to use a um, heat gun, then you can do that. Or if you're doing like I'm doing here, I just kind of switch over to a um, another spot and let it, you know, let the other one dry. So when I'm doing the cross, I'm going to do brown first, and then I'm going to take black and white and kind of like make it distressed looking. And um, this is not a precise either. It's okay to even blend a little bit of the black into it because you want it to look weathered and like wood. So um, just grab a little bit of the black and then um, you'll just add my black won't open there we go well 
Oh, that's right. My white gave me a hard time. There we go. So I don't want to have a lot of black ink, uh, black ink, black paint on my paintbrush because I just kind of, and there it did, that went a little bit too dark. But I'm not worrying because guess what? You can go back in with the brown and mix it. So see, I just go in and I take some brown. So I know I want it to have a little bit of dimension. I don't want it to be one straight color. If you do, that's like I always say, you guys know, this is your project, your time with the Lord. It doesn't always come out exactly the way we want it to, but <laughs> um, it definitely gets the point across. There goes lefty covering. So I grab a little white. And then like after it dries, you can always go over it again. Just giving some highlights. So um, I'm just sitting thinking about, um, you know, the judgment and how, you know, we need to trust in God that he he can handle what's going on around us, that he can handle um, putting us where we belong, putting us in a position where we can inspire and help others and, and not, you know, judge people. Um, it's not us for us to give the verdict, you know, we're all going to stand before him in the end. And um, that's when will be judged and that's what we need to worry about not everybody else and what's going on with them right so i'm using a flat brush it's about probably a quarter inch brush and i'm just kind of dipping the edge into so i'm dipping one edge of my paintbrush into the paint making sure my paintbrush is wet and then just doing some shading. So I'm just going to go around the outside of the star and kind of get it, give it an antique look. I will go ahead and let it run into the, the center of the star, but I'm not going to paint the whole star. Just giving it some shading. And you can also do that with the stripes, I'm going to go ahead and shade them. And even the blue part, if you, I don't, I'm not going to do it, but if you wanted to shade the blue part, you can probably use some black and shade that, or even the brown might show up. And you just kind of let the paint do what it wants. You don't want a lot of paint on your brush when you're doing it. You want to make sure that your brush is wet so that the paint will, um, move and I'm basically focusing on the white part of the white stripe not really putting much on the red it's actually fun to do I think just zip zip <laughs> so we're going to be using black paint marker to do some highlighting on the flag and on the cross and some effects on the star. This was fun. This is, this is simple, but yet um, I think very effective of what I'm trying to represent in my, my piece today. You can also um, ink maybe if you wanted to ink the the background, you can do that. I chose not to. I did choose to take um, from the Bible margin printable 
I decided to take that little, uh, the, the verse, and put it there. I was going to ink it, but then I decided not to, but I, I, I will still see me crimp, crumple it up. So I'm just taking my black, po oh my goodness, I'm having a hard time talking today. <laughs> black Posca markers, and I'm just going over it outlining and then making some dashes around the star and in the middle of it I'm gonna put in God we trust and I'm using my extra fine I think it's a 05 or you can use a paintbrush I guess if you wanted to giving a little bit of white highlight to the red so I'm doing this with a dry brush and a little bit of the highlight to the blue and we're not going to make actual stars we're going to actually just dot the stars with the end of the paintbrush so kind of like just to represent the stars, just go ahead and if you notice, I'm not going, I'm dipping in and then making different size dots by just repeating without re-dipping into the white. And that's what I want to give it a little bit of. Difference in sizes. I was going to try to use the paint to um, to do the edges, but then I decided not to. I'm just going to cut it, crimple it up, and add it on there. In God We Trust, or you can put Do Not Judge if you want to put that in there to remind us of we're not the judges I'm using the Holy Bible printable that I used <laughs> with some wet glue and the gavel You won't see it in this video, but you saw it in the beginning that I do add some washi tape to the top of the page. So um, sometimes I decide after the fact to add a couple things, but um, I had some red and blue washi tape around and I added it because the top, as you see above the star and the cross, is kind of empty. But that also is a good area to do some journaling if you wanted to do journaling in that, that particular space of the page. So with that, I'm going to finish up here and I am going to thank you very much for watching and I hope that you will like and are so that you can like and subscribe so that you can get um, notification for all the new awesome stuff that comes out um, each month. So thank you again and we will definitely see you next time, and I hope that you will post if you choose to do this page so we can see your wonderful artwork. I hope that you will be blessed, and remember not to judge, or we will be judged, right? <laughs> okay, thank you everyone.